Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Somebody's about to have fun, a little bit of libations and drinks. <laughs> so you might be having a good time. You got a good time coming towards you. I mean, it may involve, you know, you sipping some tea or it may involve you drinking a form of an alcoholic beverage, having a great time with some friends. I don't know. Um, oh, hold on a second. I don't see this. Let's get one more card to say for what it's coming towards. Okay. Marriage. All right. For some of you guys, I have libation, protest, and marriage here. Some of you all, whoever wants to go somewhere, if you're in a committed relationship or you're in a relationship with someone or a connection or married, this person does not want you to go out and have fun they feel like you've been doing too much of that okay that's you know you or this could be you if your friends are calling and saying hey let's go have a good time let's go have some drinks you know and the girls call you and say hey you know like hey let's go do go try this new place or whatever you might say no i don't i want to stay in i'm gonna hang out with the hubby or the wife or you know the boo what else um yeah, it might be best that you do that because somebody here is going to be pissed at you if you do. Okay, somebody here. It looks like, too, there's some bossy energy here. I don't know. Y'all might be dealing with somebody who's a little bit controlling or bossy, though. Okay. Let's see what else. Listen. If you are going somewhere, we have the accident card. If you are going somewhere, do not drink and drive. Be careful about that um okay because you don't want to get hurt you don't want to injure yourself or you don't want to injure somebody else you do not want to catch a dui so be careful and mindful of that okay you do not somebody might be getting locked up here because justice came out but it came out in reverse um i'm just saying we have taurus virgo uh capricorn energy here we have libra energy here just be mindful of that we have some gemini libra careers here too Cause don't doesn't this look like somebody's like you see how this person is like in the corner like they're in a jail cell with no shoes on <laughs> they even got into a car accident or had a dui or something and hurt themselves or hurt somebody else that did justice boom somebody's stay out of trouble if you go out drinking and having fun and with friends or with a significant other don't drink and drive please anyway what else all right well who else what up uh oh, hold on, I dropped the card. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay, yeah, Spirit is saying just sleep in. Stay stay home, okay? Stay home and go to sleep. Netflix and chill and go to sleep, like literally, okay? Like, that's how you <coughs> avoid this sort of issue here. Some of y'all might also too be deciding to have a lazy day, a lazy weekend, or you know, just relax instead of going and hang out. This could be spirit trying to warn you. I'm just telling you. What else? Yeah. Oh, we got a gift coming your way. I like this energy. All right. You have a really spirit is definitely telling you you need to sit down somewhere and go take a nap, get some rest this weekend. Okay. Get some quiet time. Because if you go out and party and have a good time, I'm telling you what what is what's here, okay? That might not be for everybody, but you, you got a gift coming towards you. Something nice and sweet here. Something unexpected. Somebody's giving you a gift here, too. Somebody could have went traveling here and they, they brought something back for you, okay? The number 36 can be significant here. What else? For some of you all, you're getting a promotion, too. So oh, that's good. Yeah. All right. What, what else do we have here? If you guys just, oh, okay. It's time for you to take a break. Some of y'all have been working really hard here. Some of you guys have been working really hard here. It's time for you to take a load off and relax and get you some rest and get you some sleep or go to a spa or just do some self-care this weekend. Do whatever it is you need to do, but make sure it's on a calm level. You know what I mean? Like a relax, something relaxing because it seems like to me, you guys have been overworked, overburdened. You're feeling overwhelmed. You have too much going on. You're tired. A lot of y'all have a lot going on at work too. Um, and some of you guys too may have like a bully or somebody that you work with who is like either jealous or this person is like kind of trying to make it hard for you 
like or there's somebody here in a friend group that might be gossiping and they're low-key they might even try to embarrass you okay don't let these people embarrass you okay just i don't like that energy so just be careful you have you know who this is if there's if this is somebody at work giving you a hard time and they've been trying to they want you to work overtime or this could be a friend group or something that's also in your circle like you're going to be okay though okay you're coming into some form of stability and harmony and acceptance of the situation so you are going to be okay you see how this person's like i'm okay all right so just spend some time alone take care of yourself you don't run run the streets this weekend or the next few days like that's what you should be focusing on here all right what else is coming towards the collective here you got a good bright idea coming in here too this is giving ace of swords ace of um I just got Ace of Cups, but I really wanted to say Ace of Wands energy with uh, a bright idea here. I don't know, whatever this idea is, it's time for you to, it's like a vision, you know, so you you you, you have an idea that's going to make your life much easier, or you have an idea if you have a company, if you're, you know, if you got a side hustle, or you're an entrepreneur, um, you definitely, definitely need to put that to action. Sit down, take a look at things, uh, allow your imagination to run free, take notes, you know, tap into your inner child here because whatever this bright idea is, maybe one of your kids are even going to give you a bright idea and you're like, ooh, let me sit down and, at the computer and do some research or something here. You, you, you need to act on that because <coughs> whatever this is, excuse me, it's faded, okay? It's definitely faded for you to have. Let's pull an abundance card and see. What's coming towards you? What you can expect when it comes to abundance? Show me what <coughs> the collective. I don't know why I'm coughing. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me take a sip of. Mm. Sorry, you guys. All right. <coughs> what can the uh, collective expect when it comes to abundance? Oh, you can expect something, whatever this idea is that you have, that you've been praying about, that I feel like you kind of been worried about, um, just know that the idea was given to you by God. This card literally says successful funding, right? So your kid might give you an idea or somebody may give you an idea on like where to get funding or help or like an angel investor or, you know, there are different, all different types of investors, people that can invest in your business. Okay. It could be a joint venture. It could be whatever. It says your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So when you get this idea, especially I feel like maybe some of y'all might even dream about it. You know, you might even be dreaming about it or, or it may come to you when you're relaxing, taking care of yourself. You could be meditating, whatever, whenever this thing is that's coming in for you, this idea, spirit is saying act on it like I was telling you earlier. But just don't allow yourself to be stuck and afraid right because remember remember we did see this fright energy too don't allow that to hold you back from pushing forward to to see your other options go talk to somebody about this you know what else can the collective expect in the upcoming days what else can they expect all right yeah spirit is telling you to be flexible all right, this is this is the energy, the flexibility of the number 19 could be significant for you too. All right, but flexibility is literally all about you being to adjust wherever you need to, not being rigid, because this is an egg, right? And eggs are always about like new beginnings. It's about a birth of something, right? This is what comes out of that, right? You know, when an, an, an egg, a chicken hatches, right? It's 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 being born. So there there's this idea that you're sitting on top of, or that comes to you, and but there's a need for you to be flexible around that idea, saying like, okay, your idea is X, Y, Z, will, and you you may need to make some adjustments on the how that's gonna look, right? Somewhere somehow you're gonna have to make some adjustments. 
message in a bottle yeah look at that bottom of the deck is the message in a bottle so this is definitely like you receiving something from the divine some sort of idea or some form of gift right because the gift was it was given to you by god right it was given to you you know maybe by your ancestors where's that gift card this is this is them saying hey here's this gift but don't be afraid don't be stuck in your head you need to go ahead and act on that okay Let's see what's going on in situations. What else can the collective expect for the next few days? All right. Yeah, Spirit is saying trust this plan. When this idea comes to you, just go roll with it, okay? Do the research and roll with it here. Um, yeah, look at this. I don't know what's going on with you guys. You might be feeling sad or broken or alone right now or crushed. Or this is somebody who's sad and broken and crushed and alone about you. They see you in this queen rising, queen of pentacles energy that you're stepping into your power here or you're about to be stepping into your power. Something is coming up really good. Either you guys, are, like I said earlier, getting this gift. It could be a promotion. It could be a raise or like you're about to be in the spotlight for something here. But somebody here is sad and crushed. And remember, we did see energy of gossip here too. So just be mindful. You might know who that is. This could be a love person too. I don't know who this is. That's sad. You know, they do say the journey to the top is rather lonely. So, you know, which is cool, too. The least the, the least amount of people you have in your circle when you're going through this, you know, phase of your life, the better, honestly. What else can the collective expect? What else can I hear? There are some... <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. That jackpot, jackpot card wanted to come out so bad that it did. Look, you guys are winning. Two cards of like you winning, stepping up. We see the wheel is turning. Like this is giving the wheel energy here. You guys are either getting more money, unexpected money, or something that's going to make you some money, okay? Look at this. Desire to win. I'm going to win. I'll look better, be better, and get something better. So this could be you, like I said, leveling up, you guys. Male or female, doesn't matter, right? However, I do sense some energy in the background of somebody not wanting you to win. So be careful about who you tell your business to and who you show your ideas with because people do steal ideas. So be mindful of that. Right, some of y'all might be experiencing, you know, financial difficulty right now with this, you know, energy. It says freedom. I want freedom to pursue my own happiness right now. But this, I feel like this is you saying, I got this idea, but I don't have the money to do it. Could be. You better figure out a way. Spirit is telling you this is a gift here. Something involves a family too. For some of y'all too, there could be a cocky person in the background. Hmm. Let me see more about this situation. Because family and blood ties and inner circle came up for some reason. What else here for the collective? What else can they expect? Yeah, <clears throat> there's somebody here is mad at you and they're pissed, and they're gonna call you. This somebody might have something to say to you. Yeah. Mm -mm. Let's see. What can they expect? Oh yeah. See somebody. There's some jealousy here. I I feel like. Yeah. There's somebody from your past. Also here who. There's an energy of a love connection here, y'all. This person's ego got in the way. This is somebody who was a narcissist here, a player. Um, they're upset that you've moved on. They can't, they're, they're not able to move on. Hard to read, okay? Uh, you confuse me, you give me mixed signals. I, I feel like they gave you mixed signals. And then we have the you got away card. Uh, you're the one that got away. I'll be looking for you in another lifetime. Yeah, I, this groupie, this person is like watching you, stalking you, maybe even here too. I feel like this is somebody who either feels like you might have several options or this is a player. Somebody was confusing and sending you mixed signals because they were either A, attached to somebody else or they, they were a player and sleeping around. Yeah. What else? Somebody wants some attention, you guys. Pretending, fake. 
living beyond their means here. Somebody here who's broke as hell. I don't know. Undecided. Honestly, I don't know what I want. I'm not sure if I want a relationship. Yeah, that's that person who, like I said, was a player. Let their ego get in the way. They want to call and talk to you. Divination abuser. So somebody here could be doing some spell work or something. Um, watching tarot readings. Looking you up. Hmm. Who else? Is this? Yeah, whoever this person is, you ghost. They either ghosted you or you blocked them, or you blocked them. Yeah, look at this, lost. So this is the person who was sad and crushed. I, I knew that wasn't you. You know what I'm saying? I didn't feel like that was you. Creativity muncher steals your ideas, copies your work, and duplicates speeds off of you. I told you, either this person is an energy vampire and they're missing your energy because you took you pulled it back from them, or you you guys have somebody around you that you cannot trust. It's in a family group or or in a friend circle who is going to be trying to steal ideas from you. Be careful and do not share your idea with anybody, okay? Because people do that in real life. What else do they need? Can they expect here? What else? Somebody's about to chase you. Somebody's cannot let go of you. They are clinging on to you for dear life. Okay. This says it doesn't matter how far I run, my heart all, always runs back to you. Then we have comfort zone, clinging. This person is clinging to you. Then we have chasing you. You see what I'm saying? Look at this facade and beliefs, false beliefs. Somebody's like trying to take the mask off, but I low key still feel like they're wearing a mask. Look at the bottom of the deck. It says karmic friends. So this is giving me energy, two separate energies. There's a group, some karmic friends or people around you that you do not need to be sharing information with. You might go somewhere, like I said, maybe go get your nails done, go to the spa. You might be at the barbershop. I don't know. Whatever it is, do not tell these people this idea, okay? Um, you cannot trust them. They are secret competition. They are in well... They see themselves as being in competition with you, but you're not even studying it. Like literally, you're not you're not studying these people. Yeah, I just said that. Look, underneath it is unbothered. I told you. You're not pressure cooker rage, ready to explode. You see what I'm saying? Like you being unbothered bothers whoever this is. For some of y'all it's family. For some of y'all it's karmic friends. Let's see what else is underneath this day distance retreat or time out all right so the there i feel like this angry person you guys is that person who is that uh connection that person that you're not talking to and this person is the one who's broke or they just were put themselves on some sort of financial support they they gotta pay child support alimony somebody might have to be bailed out of jail like i said here because you see financial support in hamster wheel daily hustle like somebody's trying to get their money up because they're broke I don't know where that broke card went. Yeah, here, see, see what I'm saying? Broke. And then somebody wants to fight to arguments, <laughs> competition, clout hungry, says anything, does anything, makes shit up, dramatic. You see what I'm saying? No. They can get the head long. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's get you a um, spirit. Some advice. That's not what I want to use. Hold on, y'all. Let's see what spirit wants me to use for advice. Here we go. Let's use this dick. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the advice for the collective on what they should ex based on what they should expect? What is the advice for the collective based on what they should expect? Spirit guides. Forgiveness is the key to healing and letting go. Whomever you need to forgive, Spirit says, now is the time to do so. There is no need to hold on to hurt, anger, or pain. Release it so you can be free. All right, so some of y'all are upset with somebody. Just let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Anyway, I love y'all. Hit the like button. Join us on Patreon, okay, where we have Divine Masculine, Divine uh, Feminine, Twin Flame readings every month. Um, and all of the extended readings are all there. You get access to all that content for like $5 a month, okay? Love y'all. Bye.